Hello, my name is Roxana Chabano and I'm the co-founder and CTO of Banishell. I want to talk to you about environment as a service and how Banishell can help your team increase their productivity and release frequency and optimize your costs while integrating with your existing CI/CD. If you've heard about environment as a service, you know that it is the latest trend in how companies remove bottlenecks in their development lifecycle. An environment is a snapshot of all your application services, third-party dependencies and infrastructure requirements while undergoing version control. Its main characteristic is that it allows you to instantly create, update and replicate production-like environments for all your engineering team helping your developers, QA, DevOps and product. If you've heard the phrase, it works on my computer, then you know how unproductive it is to deal with bugs that happen only because the environments used by your developers were not up to date, consistent of only a part of your services, or were broken to the being shared between multiple developers. Also, being unable to use your QA team or automatic testing pipelines to test your feature as soon as pull requests are created just contributes more to the overall irregularity and postponement of your product releases. It is clear that all your engineering team needs to have their own environment as soon as they need to develop, review or test their work. But having tens of pre-provisioned production-like replicas will significantly increase your cloud resources costs and also the time spent of keeping them up to date. One particular use case that we'll be discussing now is the benefits of integrating your continuous integration and continuous delivery tools with Banishell. No matter what CI-CD tool you are using, you can integrate them with Banishell to automate the creation of environments for your engineering team, create regression or end-to-end -end testing pipelines, or link existing automation tools like infrastructure as code with your environments. Using production-like environments in your testing pipelines will significantly decrease the number of defects that go unnoticed and also allow you to do parallel testing for all your team's work. As soon as a pull request is created, Bunny shall recreate a dedicated ephemeral environment that can be used by your CI pipeline to run regression or end-to-end -end testing. Also, Banishal makes it easy to maintain dedicated testing versions of your applications that contain all your required testing code, components and parameters. So let's see a live example of this flow. I'm going to show you how I can integrate Jenkins with Banishal to ensure that all pull requests made by developers go through an automatic testing pipeline. This will shorten the feedback loop in the development lifecycle, directly contributing to increasing the release frequency. Let's start by creating a development environment in Banishal. I've already set up my Git repository provider, GitLab in my case, but you can choose to also connect your GitHub or Bitbucket accounts. Also, I've connected my Kubernetes cluster, which is running on DigitalOcean, and here you can connect other Kubernetes clusters running in AWS, DigitalOcean, GCP or Azure. I'll go ahead and I'll create a new environment in Banishell called Automatic Tests, running the application that I have stored in my GitLab repository. Of course, an environment can have any number of applications, both stored in a monorepo or separate repositories. Banishell doesn't require you to write any file prior to using the platform. All your application components will be automatically discovered and translated into a Banishell YAML file. From now on, we can store this file in the Git repository, providing a GitOps way of creating and updating environments directly from Git. This environment will always be configured to run all components on the main branch and will help us create ephemeral environments every time we create a pull request to the main branch. In order for that to happen, we must enable the ephemeral environment setting. From this environment definition, all developers can clone their own environment and configure each component to run on the appropriate branch. For example, I can clone a development environment for myself and configure it to run the front-end component on the demo branch. The components are defined, so the next step is to deploy it on a Kubernetes cluster which I've connected prior from the integrations menu. Banishal will take care of building my images and updating them in my Kubernetes namespace. While this is deploying, I'll also enable the auto-update settings so that every time I do a change in my demo branch or the main branch is updated for the other services by my colleagues, my environment is automatically updated to the latest version. 
the application version drift management is mandatory in development teams as it ensures that all environments are always running the latest version for all services. So now my environment is up and running and ready for me to start developing. Also, Bunny shall assign subdomains to all my services so that I can access them. Now, let's make a change in our development environment. I'll go to my IDE and make a change to the demo branch of the front-end application. As soon as I commit my changes, my development environment is queued for redeployment. Bandishell uses multiple caching layers for building images so that time spent updating environments is minimum. Also, builds happen on your Kubernetes cluster, so you can always enhance the build time by adding more resources to the build or by adding more powerful instances. Perfect! The update is finished and I can see the new changes in my environment. When I'm ready to send my new feature to be tested, I just have to create a pull request and my Jenkins server will automatically start testing my new implementation. In order to do that, I've integrated my Jenkins server with GitLab so that Jenkins will receive a webhook notification when I create pull requests. In the Jenkins interface, I'll create a new project called Automatic Tests that will be triggered at every GitLab pull request. The task will clone the repository and will run the automatic tests stored as Python scripts in the repository. The test pipeline is configured to use the Bunny Shell API to wait for the ephemeral environment to be completely deployed and run a request on each of the environment components, checking that they are accessible. Of course, at this step you can integrate any testing tool or you can deploy the test as an environment component and retrieve the output in Jenkins. The ephemeral environments created from the automatic test environment can contain additional components that are dedicated to testing. Jenkins can be also configured to automatically close the pull request if the tests fail or to remove the ephemeral environment if all tests were successful. Let's go to GitLab and create a new pull request. I'll specify my development branch demo in my case to be merged into the main branch. What will happen now is that Banishel will start creating a new ephemeral environment starting from the automatic tests environment but with the front-end component running the branch from the pull request I just created. Jenkins also receives the notification for the pull request and a new task is spawned for the automation testing. Jenkins is now waiting for the environment to be created before starting the test. At this point, the environment was created and Jenkins successfully ran all the tests, finishing by posting the pipeline result as a comment to the GitLab pull request section. If I now close the pull request, the ephemeral environment will be completely removed from Banishel as it has served its purpose. So that's it. I've shown you how easy it is to set up an automatic testing pipeline by integrating Bunnyshell with Jenkins to ensure that all tests run in parallel in a production-like environment and also that all developers receive instant feedback to their work. Thank you for watching and happy coding! <laughs>